Hello my beautiful um, Pisces and welcome to Oso Tarot aka Venus Trap. So um, today we're going to be doing a general reading for you, okay? What's seen, what's coming towards you, lover, family, friend or foe. We're also going to be including a um, love message as well. Sorry, something is like in my eye and it's really irritating me. So if I like start twitching, it's because something's in my eye and I, I just can't take it out. It's really pissing me off. Um, but yeah, um, so we're going to pull a love message for you. Okay. Um, maybe for some of you, something is in your eye or you can't see something clearly or something like that. But yeah, we're going to get a love message for you. See what is, um, you know, what you have coming towards you in love. Okay. Um, so just take what resonates, leave the rest um feel feel free to switch the genders and the roles also okay so before we get into your overall energy um, i'm getting an intuitive download because i'm feeling like really really mellow and i feel like for some of you um i feel like you're just gonna let something go i feel like for some of you maybe something was bothering you or um you wasn't sure about a situation but i feel like you're going to come into some kind of clarity um, or you're going to get a huge confirmation of something that you have really been pondering about. Like you've been really contemplating or thinking about something or trying to figure something out. And I'm hearing it's all going to make sense. Okay. Cause I feel like for some of you, you could be one of um, those people like where, you know, it's almost like you have to know, you have to know the answer to something. Like you can't rest until you, um, figure something out that could be your opposite energy um you know virgo they can kind of obsess about things so maybe you know it's almost like you have to figure out what the mystery is you know you do you know you are the high priestess so i feel like in this situation you're going to get a huge confirmation i feel like you're going to feel vindicated in this situation as well but i feel like you're going to let something go because you finally understand you're like right okay that's the reason, that's why, or, oh, this is what happened, or, you know what I mean? You're going to figure something out, which is going to help you to um, let something go, walk away from something, completely just not care about something, okay? I feel like something is, like, minor, it's, like, minute, it's just not, it's just so irrelevant, and I feel like you're actually going to understand, like, this is not, like, why do I care about this, okay? Um, so, yeah. So your overall energy we have is quench that thirst. And at the bottom of the deck, we have um, keep yourself balanced. Okay, yeah. So there could have been, like I said, something um, something that you was like stressed about. Maybe there was like a dark cloud around you and you were just, you were, it's almost like you were, because this is like my feeling card. So it's almost like you were like dying to kind of figure something out. Or you were really waiting for justice. Or maybe for some of you, you're yearning for justice. Or you're yearning for something to kind of um, be balanced. Or for something to kind of just resettle itself is what I'm hearing. So something could have been like topsy-turvy. This could have just been your mind. Maybe for some of you, you're in your emotions right now, okay? Now, for others of you, you could be dealing with a Libra or another water sign. But I'm getting like somebody kind of wants to make something right with you. Or somebody is really imbalanced, not speaking to you not being in your energy or um do you know what i mean like someone's got something hovering over their head here okay yeah i'm also because i'm getting like really thirsty with the quenched out thirst so maybe for some of you are dehydrated you need to drink oh good lord sorry guys whoa so yeah that's what I'm getting. I feel like some of you, you're like, you're, you're, you're hung, you're thirsty for something. You could be thirsty for somebody. Okay. But yeah, I just feel like, you know, you need to keep yourself balanced because you may be suffering from mood swings or somebody else is around you. Okay. But let's just see where this is going. But yeah, I'm getting justice will be served in a situation or you're going to receive some kind of justice. Okay. So let's see. Um, Let's just see what your important mess. No. Let's start off with an oh so card, oh so, oh so many words. So let's see what the overall um, energy is for your the beginning of your reading in terms of the word. Oh, so we have oh so loyal that wanted to come out. And yeah, oh so bewildered. I was getting that. I've, like I said, I feel like for some of you, you're just confused about something. 
Okay, now with the bewildered and the, the oh so loyal, I mean, these kind of match up to the energies because that kind of seems like she's bewildered. And with the loyalty card, the justice, that's like commitments, Libra energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or you could have significant placements. Maybe there's something that you want to commit to or is there's a person that you want to commit to or... um, Yeah... It's almost like someone's here like, oh man, I fucked up, man. I should have, I should have like, I should have kept my promise or I should have committed to that or I should have kept going. Now, there could be something that you have committed yourself to, but like I said, somebody's trying to confuse you or like, you know, kind of like sway you in some type of way or trying to kind of make you feel unbalanced so that you um let go or you walk away from something. But I feel like whatever this is, so I feel like something helps you to keep balanced. So I feel like this could be a person. I just heard or a substance. For some of you, you're not sure. Maybe you're not sure if somebody um, has kept their promise or has kept their commitment to something else. Or maybe you're yearning for loyalty. You're yearning for a commitment. You're yearning for partnership. Okay. Or you're learning to, you're yearning to kind of... Um, We, I keep on hearing reach out to a Libra. I feel like you want to speak to a Libra or you want to speak to someone or someone wants to speak to you. Okay, so let's get an affirmation. This is for my beautiful Pisces. Oh, gorgeous. We have I am of royal descent and then we have I am sassy and sexy at the bottom of the deck. Gorgeous energy. Yeah, okay. So you could be, yeah, you could be feeling for someone. <laughs> Maybe you're looking at someone and they're really sassy and sexy. And you just think, oh God, I cannot wait to reach out to you or... um. You could be very desirable to a lot of people as well. I feel like a lot of you, you know, you have a royal background. You've got royalty within your DNA, okay? Your ancestry line has some kind of royal blood in it, okay? I also feel like you being assertive and telling people exactly what you want and exactly how it is, is really attractive to a lot of people. So I feel like there could be somebody that like wants to wife you or wants to partner up with you or something because I'm hearing somebody likes your style, they like your swag. And somebody sees you as like a goddess. They just see you as royalty or like a king, an emperor, a boss type, Okay, so let's get another message. But I'm getting like marriage and partnership here. Okay, or you're just confused. Maybe you're confused on how someone feels about you or a situation. This doesn't have to pertain to anything romantic though because I haven't reached to the romance part yet. Okay, so let's just see. Can we have an additional message, please? Yeah, we have Arcane. It says, not all needs to be revealed. Keep them wanting more. This is what I'm saying. Like, something is really mysterious about someone. It's almost like someone is dying to know about you or you're dying to know about someone. Or like I said in the beginning, it's almost like you were yearning or you were dying to figure something out. You're finally going to figure it out. And you're going to think, oh, finally, fuck. You know what I mean? I also feel like as well, like, you know, if you are kind of keeping yourself to yourself or if you're being mysterious or if you're, like, not sharing something with someone, it's just making them want you more or this could be like you could have a business and maybe you're um you know you're choosing you're not releasing too many things at once you know what i mean like for example if you upload maybe you're uploading like once a week and people are like oh my god where are you like where's the queen or where's the king or where's the boss like where are you like because people are like loyal to you they're confused like where have you gone you know what i mean this could be anything but i feel like someone wants to get to know more about you i just heard um curiosity kills the cat but satisfaction brought it back that's the second line of that um sentence that nobody ever um that no one really knows about okay we have sweetness it says you catch more bees with honey a sweet or a kind gesture yeah so somebody may want to do something sweet for you okay or you're thinking about this. I feel like you're confused on how to make something right with somebody or somebody's confused on how to make something right with you or like I said, you're going to be getting justice in a situation, something that you've been really waiting for for a very long time. You're going to feel vindicated. You're going to feel like royalty again. You're going to feel like yourself. You know, like your, your sexy kind of Piscean energy. Okay. I'm also getting like mystery is sexy. So, you know, maybe that's what somebody loves about you. I feel like maybe as well, somebody thought that they had you figured out. But the more they get to know you, the more that they realize they know nothing at all. Okay, well, the, the more they realize that there's more to know about you, okay? So this is for my beautiful Pisces. So let's get a love message. Wow, okay, two cards wanted to come out. Um, it says the reconciliation, reconnection, second chances and harmony. 
And it says, um, the waiting game, divine timing, patience, and the unknown. At the bottom of the deck, we have the bugaboo, which says unwanted calls, text, harassment, and annoyance. I'm sure I posted this today on my shorts for, um, for water signs. I'm sure I posted it for water signs. So if I did, that's, you know, that was fucking on point. But I can't remember. You may want to check that out. But yeah, so somebody wants to reconnect with you. They want to, yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. Somebody wants to make peace with you. I feel like you are someone's balance. You keep somebody grounded. This person has been waiting for the right time to message you or to say something. But with the unknown here and the arcane energy, it's almost like someone doesn't know if you're going to take their call, if you're going to be receptive of them with the bugaboo energy here. Someone doesn't want to be an annoyance to you okay you know that's what i'm getting but somebody definitely wants to reconcile now for some of you there could be somebody that wants to reconcile with you and you don't want to you don't want to hear from this person you're just like oh not you okay <laughs> that can go either way yeah because underneath that we have the soul tie which reads universal attachment sexual bonded and inseparable okay so maybe someone can't let you go that like i said this person is yearning for you they find you so sexy and attractive but they're just completely confused about how to um approach you okay so let's pull some tarot sorry but the cards are like a bit messed up so this is for um pisces please clarify i am of royal descent yeah gorgeous energy we have the three of cups here okay so yeah you are of royal and regal descent royal and re yeah regal descent <laughs> I feel like for some of you, you're going to be feeling celebrated and supported and appreciated, especially by women or like people that is close to you. Like, um, you know, like when you have the, that family, mem that friend that kind of feels like a family member. Also, this could represent reconciliation as well. So there could be somebody that wants to reconcile with you. OK, you know, so this could be like, like I said, family, this could be a friend or this could be you returning back to something that you used to do that kind of made you feel like you were at the top of your game. OK. I feel like you're, you're, you're getting your crown back. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you, you're not feeling your, like your regal self. Yeah, the king of wands. You know what I mean? So you're taking action towards something. Okay. Also, some of you are extremely attractive. Or someone, like I said, someone is like really kind of... Um, they got their eye on you. Okay. Yeah, the ace of wands. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is like very, very attracted to you. Okay. I feel like for some of you as well, you're very passionate or really creative. Maybe you've got a lot of ideas coming on. I also feel like as well, like I'm saying, like, it's almost like you've got a new opportunity here. If you do have a new opportunity, a new creative opportunity, I'm hearing not to um share it with anyone. It says like, keep them wanting more, like reveal a little bit at a time. Okay. But yeah, like literally your mystery is really, really sexy. Like somebody likes that about you. Or maybe you're going to start holding back. Because, like, you know, I was getting that in the beginning where you kind of just let something go once you understand it. And then you're onto something bigger and better, okay? But yeah, um, so a new opportunity is coming towards you. It could be a new creative opportunity. Maybe you're um, doing new magic or something like that. You could be dabbling into the, the, the occult or something because I'm getting like a really large candle. You could be doing protective work as well because, you know, she's wearing all black. So maybe you're doing protective energy work, returning to sender. You know what I mean? Okay, but somebody like really wants to be with you. If this is in a love sense, like somebody is really attracted to you. They want to reconcile with you and they're just dying to like um grab hold of you because i'm getting like you really turned somebody on here we've got the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck yeah so if you do have a um creative idea or you start a new job or anything like that it's going to be very lucrative with the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so you're going to be making a lot of money okay and you will get that support so don't worry about it okay we've got the chariot that wanted to come out on top of the reconciliation and the waiting game so somebody's going to make a move to come towards you Somebody going to travel towards you. You could be dealing with somebody who's like, um, who drives, like as a driver of some kind. I'm hearing like a bus driver or like a delivery driver. Okay, it could be like a police driver as well. Um, or somebody is like, it's almost driving somebody insane, like having to wait to talk to you. Okay, so I feel like somebody's going to make a major move and like, you know, they want to move forward. They want to move on from something. Okay, moved forward with you. Yeah, they want to move forward onto a relationship. We have the four of ones at the bottom of the deck, okay? So gorgeous energy. Yeah, I was mentioned that in the beginning. We have the justice that's right underneath that. 
So somebody wants to give you your justice, they may want to apologize to you with the page of cups underneath. Okay, but yeah, the four of ones at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, it could be on the stage or online or like performing arts of some kind or whatever you do, you get watched when you do it, okay? So, um, like I said, whoever's watching you, they like exactly what it is that they see, okay? But with the four of, with the four of um, ones here, a relationship, I feel like someone definitely wants a relationship with you. They definitely um, want to be with you, okay? So what is your important message? I'm going to try and do these a bit quicker today. What is your important message? What do you need to know from the Miss Know It All deck? Um, stop wasting time. Yeah, so this is what I'm trying to say. Someone's like, listen, I've been waiting for a long time. I can't wait no more. I need to make a move, okay? I'm also getting that a relationship is going to move to the next level drastically as well. Like, you may reconcile with someone and then, you know, you're just in a relationship straight away. It's like, fuck it, let's just do this. Let's just get married. Let's just commit to each other. Let's just do it. Now, for others of you, if you're sitting on any creative ideas or anything like that, stop wasting time. Just do it. Okay, take action. And at the bottom of the deck, it says you need to heal. So I'm getting that this is from um, this person who may want to heal something with you. Yeah, get through it and get over it. It's underneath that. So yeah, I was getting that in the beginning. Like, it's almost like you just want to move on and get over something or like you've just, you know. So yeah. But something is going to be healed in your life, okay? So you, you don't need to worry. Or maybe for some of you, you need to relax and rest for a little bit. And once you do that, you'll have your energy back, okay? But yeah, I'm getting that water, like drink water, okay? So let's have an additional message. Yeah, we have the heart chakra here, okay? It says, I love, love, compassion, empathy, forgiveness, and air. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be forgiveness in a situation here. Somebody's operating from their heart chakra. They're doing something that they love and that they're really passionate about, which is going to um turn out really well from them. If this is in a loving situation, someone wants your forgiveness, okay? We have the psychic. It reads, Sia, clairvoyant, aware, preternatural, telepathy, mental, mentalist, inner knowing, and mastermind. So you could be dealing with a psychic. This is your energy. You're really, really intuitive. Maybe somebody tried to play with your psyche and tried to play a lot of mind games. If you are a reader, someone thinks you're a sexy, ass, sassy, ass reader. They love to watch you, okay? But I feel like somebody wants to read your mind. They want to know what it is that you're thinking. They don't, they don't know. They're like, what's the Pisces thinking? Like, how can I get, um... How can I get um, into the Pisces' mind? So someone wants to get all up in your mind at that Beyonce song. Okay, and then we have, I have the courage and tenacity to face adversity head on and emerge victorious. Yeah. So if any of you have been going through anything, like I said, you're going to get justice in the situation. And this is how you're going to be coming out on top, like an absolute queen or a goddess. You're, you come out victorious every time. So if anybody's trying to come at you, it's just like, Chai, you bitches are beneath me. Okay, then we have, I welcome opportunities and experiences that match my passions and purpose. Exactly. So I'm getting new opportunities here. Things that, you know, are in alignment with you and what it is that you believe in and what it is that you are about, okay? So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Let me know in the comment section. Give a thumbs up and subscribe. Toodles.